Hello everybody, greetings and welcome to the Dyson Sphere program, a game I've been looking for quite some time now and it is looking fantastic. It is a factorial satisfactory game going to space with an amazing amount of content at this point for the price that you have to pay for it. I'm looking forward to this one here, hope you're going to enjoy this one, let's get cracking. Now that we have the space chart that we can have, so every time you start this game, you can um, randomly generate all your um, universe. So it is like a factorial game where you start on a small planet and then you expand your automation empire over several planets with trade routes and starships and stuff like that. I'm so excited for this one here. Um, we're going to start like what the game is throwing us at. So number of stars is 64, resource multiplier is 1. And with that, without any further thing, let's just start the game. And there we are already. Welcome to the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Oh, this is really great. Um, we are flying now towards a planet where we can settle our first base. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Now there we are, this is the planet where we are settling on first, Ceter Virginis the third, and yeah, pretty cool so far. Every planet of course has its own resources, um, some of them have more gases, some of them have more stones, and more iron for example, and we are settling on a Terra planet as we can see. And the first thing that comes to notice here right now is that we have a seamless transition between the planets and, you are the, about to oh, and space. The designated planet. Each one of these planets, of course, has a day and night cycle, which makes it even more exciting. And also, I think, a weather system at this point. We are now diving into the atmosphere. Coming onto the first planet, we can already see the forests and the resources that we have here, like iron and copper. And there we are, starting out. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. And the first thing we need to do with our little guy here, so we're starting out like with this one here, we need to, um, well, we could harvest now resources right away, like for example some copper ore. We could also, what we should be doing is getting some wood. Now try to recycle the space capsule. And the next thing is our space capsule, so the ship that we landed with, let's recycle this one too and we should be getting a lot of resources out of it. You can use the same operation to collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click. To get and there we have it, we get some hydrogen, some ingot, and I, I just want to show you something you before we really get into the building recycle. process of the stuff that we can research at this point. That is the tech tree right now, and every single one of them has several buildings included with their own production chains. We also get a lot of upgrades, which is a, its whole other, well, technology tree. So you can already see how much we actually have to do in this game if we want to be successful. Um, and yeah, planet one is only the first goal that we have here, and I'm just dropping away some trees here now um, that we need we can also shift you click and have several commands then to rotate the angle of view or slide the mouse wheel to zoom some in plants and, and some wood there is a bit of iron here and there is a bit of copper so it might be a good idea to start with those things here first things first let's have a look at our mech there real quick our mech also needs fuel so at the moment we don't have that much fuel our first basic fuel is locks so i'm just going to put some locks in there and we do get the power out of it right so as long as this one is running now we can actually do stuff with our mac and i'm just going to assign a few more of these trees here to it there's also some stone um and yet you have not unlocked the construction menu which will be done automatically when complete any technology research click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen 
to open the technology tree and activate a research. Alrighty, first thing that we need to do is we need to start our first research, which, which is the electromagnetism. This one will unlock the power generation and also our first mining facility. Let's start the researching. Now with the researching, we do need to get materials. In this case here, our first most basic one, the magnetic coil. The magnetic coil, well, we can produce in our crafting menu. So like with Factorio, we have to start with crafting it ourselves until we have the automation for it. Let's just have a look here. We do need the copper rings. So in that case, 10 of them, we produce two times every time. So let's get five of them on the queue. Now, um, this is one now uh, producing it out of the iron bar and the copper ingot. So we should also get some of that ourselves for now that we have enough of these resources. And as you can see, it's rather low, but the manual research is going in the background, right? So while we can do that stuff, we can still craft and research in the background as well. And we finished our first research, electromagnetism. And with that, we do get the first automation as well, which is the mining facility. Mining to ore Let's go for it. There we have the buildings. The first thing that I'm going to need is the wind turbine to produce some um, energy. For that, I will also need some more magnetic coils. Unfortunately, we do lack a few resources for that. So let's go with the first or the next 10 ingots so I can queue them up here, as we can see. And also, let's just say I want to produce another... Um, 30 iron ingots. For that, I will need to gather some iron though. Now that we have enough iron ore and enough iron ingots, let's also build our first um, wind turbine. And I would also like to go for my first mining machine right away so we can produce two of them. And as we can see, it's queuing them up and it's going to take a while before we can do anything here. While this is ongoing, we can actually continue with the next research as well. I would like to go with my first um, upgrade. So here we do have the universe exploration that does require to something that we can't produce yet, right? The electro electromagnetic ma matrix. This allows us then to view veins um, on the planets. Right now I would go with the mecha core. This one unlocks a bit more energy for our guy so we don't need to refuel him that often. It does require though quite a lot of iron ingots there as well. So while this research is happening and our building process is happening we should be getting a bit more iron ore and we are making some more iron ingots out of that. So another 10. And luckily the game also saves how much we want to produce. So in this case the maximum of the 10 stacks every time that I can then just you know produce with a click on it. And as we can see it's also getting night now on this planet at least um speaking of planets let's have a look at the star map there so we are on this planet here right now in this location and this is also another really cool thing we are circling this gas planet here this gas giant virginis the second and we are in this solar system with those planets around it that we haven't discovered yet we haven't been on these planets yet and the sun in the center of course going to be interesting if we can actually harvest the sun now this is not only it though, our star system. Look at that. This is the star system for this map here in general. And we can go to all of these stars with all of the planets and start something there. So cool. Let's get back to our planet though. We are going to squeeze in right away there um, into our planet again, where we are. And we have just finished our next upgrade, which gives me a bit more power, right? So this is something that we need to do. Now, we have also, I'm pretty sure enough now, yep, we got the first mining machines and also our first power. Now, what I want to do here is I want to start with my harvesting my first resources. Oh, look at the lightning effect as the sun is disappearing. Um, we do have a bit of iron here. I just want to see if we have some copper close by too. Now, let's start with our first harvesting, which is the iron ore. What we need first is a turbine. The turbine I can place anywhere. It should There just shouldn't be that many turbines just next to each other because they would steal the wind from each other, of course. So let's build our first turbine here. And as we can see, there we have it. Our first power production. Next up would be then the mining facility. The mining facility needs to be in range for the power production, either just beside the building, or we also put a Tesla tower, a transmission tower to it, so that we can transmit the energy. We're going to need this for the copper mine then as well. Let's build the mining machine. Um, in that case, um, let's build it... Yep, like this, machine. so we do have the power. Oh, wait a second, we don't have enough ores. I could also squeeze it in like this. This is looking bad to me because we do have all of these nodes then in its place. Wait a second, let's make this correct. There we have it, and let's build it. 
boom there we have now all the iron or, or nodes next to it unfortunately it's not within the energy so let's go with another tesla tower and make sure that it is in its vicinity there we have it you have done building the first power transmission facility. and this mine is now working and producing iron ore much faster than i was able to right so we get now a lot of iron ore out of it 150 iron ore per minute to be honest um and or to be precise we can do the same thing now with the copper so I'm just doing it over here too. And it should actually be able to squeeze right into the Tesla tower there too. I hope so at least. And nope, we still need... Oh, I see the wind turbine. I think we are not producing enough energy here now. Generation capacity, 300 kilowatt. Oh, right. This is enough because this is only consuming 24 kilowatt. So we do need another Tesla tower. Let's construct this one real quick. And the Tesla Tower also is now working and thus also my next mining facility is working, producing now 121 copper ore per minute for us there as well. So we can just collect it now. I don't need to manually um, mine these veins anymore. Um, we need to be careful though because in this case what is happening is that they're rather full or quickly rather full. Um, so we do need to make sure that we also have an automation in place that takes that into a storage. Let's just get a few more trees here. Because we still also need to power our mecha panel, right? So our mecha tron here that we have there. Because without it, we cannot move. <laughs> Perfect. Enough energy, enough ore, and the sun is also going up. Isn't that beautiful? As we can see, the sun is rising now. There it is. The Seta Virginis 1. And the cool thing is that sun there, we can actually travel to it. And this is just really cool there. Um, once we have the spaceships for it, of course. Now, those facilities are working for us now. We can just click on it and get the iron ore, as we can see. And we just can click on it and get the copper ore out of it. Um, and with that, we can now produce a lot more stuff. Let's go for technologies once again. And the next thing that I would like to go for is the automatic metallurgy. With this one here, we get the smelter. And the smelter can then produce all these goods that we have produced so far ourselves it can just produce it for us um let's activate this research here and we do have now the copper wire and also the first uh, circuit board so chips that we also need to produce let's have a look um there we got the basic coil or the magnetic coil um with 10 of it we have now enough materials thanks to having basically endless iron and copper ore and the circuit chips that we have here which also requires some um ingots there let's put it into the queue for 10 of them and as we can see it's producing now and since i like to plan ahead let's also produce another 20 there right away and the same goes also for these copper wires because we're going to need a lot of them right they produce in the background now i don't have to worry about that the only thing i have to worry about right now is getting well the materials back into my uh, my inventory because otherwise the factories don't work let's also get a few more trees here and a bit more stone and there we have it, automatic metallurgy, there we have the smelter. I would like to go with the next research light right away, which is the basic logistic system. So this adds the belts to it, the conveyor belts, that we can then use to transport the resources from one point to another. We do, however, require now also these iron wheels or gears. Let's produce another 10 of that. And once again, I'm queuing it up for 30, so that I have enough for the future there as well to worry about. Um, also, we can produce glass now and stone, that we have the stone anyway, we have the stone, well, the, the raw stone, I guess it is, stone ore, <laughs> stone ore, and let's place also 10 into the queue here of producing a bit of stone, you never know when you need it, and I'm doing the same thing here with the glass, which actually requires stone ore, so this will be fine too. We should actually get a bit of stone there. Um, I don't think we can mine the store, uh, the stone at this point. So let's just get it manually. And the next research has been finished too. Basic logistics. We got the conveyor belt now. The sorter that can sort the goods. And also the first storage facility. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt. Which can achieve full automation. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine. And the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Okay, there we get a few more logs and plant fuel that I can then hopefully use at some point. Let's go for the first storage facility. So I would like to transport my ore now into the storage facility. There we're going to sort it and make it then so that, you know, only the iron and only the copper ingots is going to, the, to each of its um, assemblies that we can then have. And we should ha be having that soon. So we are producing that right now, these buildings, 
In the meantime, let's get a bit more stone up here. And then we got the first the smelter coming out, the second smelter and the storage. Let's also produce some conveyor belts now. Right, so we can actually produce up to 55, um, actually 60 of it. Let's also get, let's say, two sorters out there as well that we might need and another wind turbine that we certainly will need for uh, the uh, additional consumption of electricity. Let's also connect the iron ore there real quick and the copper ore. And I gotta say, the music is just beautiful in the background there, the atmosphere in general. And we also got the storage facility. I think let's just place it somewhere rather close to these mining um, points, right? So we can place it like here, for example. It's being built now. And the other thing is we do have the conveyor belts. Which can be used to store so I can now connect the facility here with the storage the facility. At least that is my goal. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point. And the end point. There you go. That was a bit of a hard birth here right now. Um, so we do need to have the belt. You can't just connect the belt with the building itself. But you do need a sorter in between. So we do this the same thing here again um, with the copper mine. So we do have the copper going then into or right next to this building there like so. Next up we do need the conveyor belt. We select the conveyor belt and then the building right and then we have the input. So this is coming over there now. All right, what I can see right now is, well, first of all, our first automation works there. So we now have automated production of the ingots. Um, we still do need a bit of energy or a bit more of the energy. And we don't have, this is too close to each other. So we can just place the next one here then. There we have it. And now all of them are working very good. And yep, since we have that one working now, now I would like to have a storage facility for those guys. Um, we do have still smelters that we could build, but let's have the storage facility right next to them just for now so that I know that it really works like that, um, where the storage of the ingots is coming in, right? So once again, we do need then the belt going from here to here. And we will also need to design an output then. Then we have the first one and the second one goes then in here and there it is now we only need an output and here an output whoops so the cool thing about this one is that you can have several outputs for one of these smelters and they have or and also several inputs for one of these and as we can see it's coming in there now oh this one here still requires a bit of energy so let's just place another one of these tesla transmitters out there right we can produce quite a few of them we should be doing that and yeah we might have the assemblers then that produce those things for us as well right so we should automate the energy production then as well at some point this is on this is on the way now um we can build now one transmitter let's place the transmitter into the forest here <laughs> There we have it coming out very good and as we can see now we have a fully automated um, factory here from the iron ore and the copper ore into the smelter and from the smelter into the storage and in the storage it's filling up now the um, iron ingots and the copper ingots that we can use then for further processing let's have a look at the researching there once again so we have the logistics we have the smeltering um, we could go for the next one right away here so steel and smelting purification the silicon ore but let's actually focus down here that we have the uh, ele electromagnetic matrix that requires copper wires and um, circuits i think yep i do need this one here first the assembling machine that produces those things for us so let's have this one as our next research the basic assembling process requires some gear and some circuits once again. Let's get this one out there. Um, still need to make this ourselves, but soon we hopefully will have an automation process for that working as well. And there we have it. It's in the queue now. Coming together just fine. Basic assembling process has been researched, so we got the assembling machine now. I'm excited for this one. Let's have a look. Basic assembling machine. Let's get a one out of the way and just look at how much we need here. Right, so we have the iron ingots, um, the copper ingots. We might actually need 
another smelter for more iron ingots and we might need um, the first basic assembling machines then for the gear and for the circuits. Now the circuits only require, oh they require two inputs, the gear only requires the iron ingot. I can already see that we will not be having enough iron at some point. So we might need to take this iron here into account there as well. I think we do have still one more yeah, mining facility and let's just try. Uh, oh, it might be possible. Yeah, like this, we could have it like this and we have 100, 136,000 iron ore with that available to us um, that we can get here, right? So then I could speed up my iron processing which we definitely will need, what I can see right now. And it's getting night day again, so the next day is over on this beautiful world. And yes, the assembling machine is ready now, and as expected, we can now make some basic goods out of that, right? So we can start here with the magnetic coil, the gear, and the circuit board. So at least for the magnetic coil, um, I would like to have my first automation then. Even though what I can see right now, it also requires something that I have don't have yet and that is the that is this one here the magnet oh the magnet can be um, created though in a smelter right so here here we could have the magnet as well so we'll need another assembling machine for this one here so another smelter that I can place here or we place it here it should actually be within one of these ranges here because what I can do is I think those mining machines produce way too much um, iron ore anyway, right? We can have a look at that. It's producing it 140 per minute and the input here is 60 per minute. So, um, you know, we still have room left for one more smelter. Let's place the smelter right here. And I want to see if this is working, that we can use the solder. Yep. We can use the solder to go for another belt, right? So it's going into this one then being built now and here we have then the sorter that goes into that belt and this one goes into the assembly right as we can see it's working so it's taking now the iron ore from this mining machine into both of these smelters here um, the only thing we need now I think is we need more sorters so let's produce a few of them very good, the next smelter is ready and here we can choose the magnet. So now we have a second input there for the magnet, it's producing here. I hope the input is a maximum of 60 there again, as the magnets are being produced. And we can now make the next input then into the storage facility with this one. There we got the belts and then we just need the output and the input. And what I can see uh, once again is that we lack a bit of power. So let's just expand our power network. Fortunately, this is rather easy. So as long as it has a direct connection with the next building, we produce enough energy there. Though I'm pretty sure that we do perhaps have some battery storage then at some point. Next up, as the sun is going up once again, a new day is dawning, a very exciting day because we can now finally automize the magnetic coil. So in the storage here, we now have um, the copper ingots, we have the iron ingots and we have the magnets, right? And what we can now do is we can now place the assembling machine, bloop, if I find it, there it is, the assembling machine and I will have my own um, assembling factory district there, I guess. So we can start with here, right? Because I don't need anything else closer to it. So we might just place it here, the assembling machine, the first one, the first of many. Let's actually place two of them right away. And by the way, I have no idea how this one will work out, right? This is my first playthrough and we'll just see if it works out. Um, we do need another Tesla tower to power these buildings. So let's place another Tesla tower next to it. It's totally fine. And then for this assembling machine, I'm choosing now the magnetic coil, right? And for this one here, I'm choosing the wheel or the gear that we have it. So those two are working then for us. The only thing we now need is once again, those conveyor belts. And there, there comes the sorter now into place because the sorter, we can also decide on the sorter what 
type of good should come out of it, right? So the sorter can decide what it wants to take out of the storage facility. And for this one here, we want to take out the magnet and the copper ingot. So those two should be coming out of it. And I think for the basic sorter, we can only choose one type of stuff. Let's try this out real quick. So there we have the sorter. Now, nah, take the sorter, please. <laughs> there it is. Let's set the filter and yes, I can only take one good for now. I'm pretty sure of it. So let's um, have the belt. We do actually need two belts for this and two inputs here, right? So one belt and it goes then all the way here and another belt. And the third belt goes for the gear. Right, so there are three belts coming out. This is, by the way, consuming electricity on my um, mecha panel. So we also need to refuel him from time to time. Otherwise, I cannot, um, you know, build stuff anymore. For now, I can actually. But let's chop down some more trees and some more plants over here. Fine, fine, fine. And that I can use then right away to replenish some of my um, energy once again. Um, there we have that coming out. What we still need is now the belt or the sorters. So once again, we're choosing this output here. We're going to choose this output here and this output. And as we can see, there's just basically anything coming out of here now. So we might actually want to fix this real quick. Can I actually do this while constructing it? Because this is a bit strange now. Um, the sorter, this one here, sets the filter to the copper, which is fine. This one here, however, we do need the magnets. Set the filter to the magnets, right? So magnet is now the filter and this one here needs actually the iron ingots. So actually I think we need to build them first before we build the um, conveyor belts, right? And iron ingots actually has to come out here. What we do here now, hmm, we might want to pick it up or we just need to get rid of all of it again and need to build those conveyor belts once again. The Very good, finally it is working. So now we have the output that is uh, designated here and also a designated input for those materials. So now we have automated production for the magnetic coil and for the wheel. And once again, we will need then for the advanced materials, we're going to need then some own storage again where we can place those advanced materials that we're going to need for another production once again. So far so good, I'm enjoying this game a lot. Hope you too. Stay tuned.